morning to you. My name is Rose Price. I'm a realtor at Landmark Real Estate here in Champaign-Urbana. And today's topic is important steps in the home selling process. Now the very first step in the home selling process is choosing a listing agent. A listing agent represents you and has a fiduciary responsibility to look out for your best interest. You want to try to interview at least two agents and make a decision. And most people generally go with an experienced agent. Next, you need to find out how much your home is worth. A seller's greatest mistake is often overpricing their home. Keep your price in line with the sold homes that have been identified in a comparative market analysis prepared by your agent. You need to consider whether the market is hot, cold, or neutral and price your home accordingly. And then comes getting your home ready to sale. You need to prepare your home for sale by cleaning and decluttering it and improving your curb appeal. Make any necessary repairs and consider a pre-listing home inspection to identify any potential problems that your home may have. And then it comes to marketing your home. Your agent should identify the selling points of your home and choose the best advertising words to convey them. You should also confirm that your listing is posted online. Your agent should saturate the internet and social media with photographs and descriptions of your property. And then comes showing your home. Let your agent use a key box to show your home. Try to be flexible with appointments. Some buyers will want to see your home after work or on the weekends, so be as accommodating as possible. Receiving a purchase offer and negotiating is the next step. Be prepared to receive multiple offers on your home if you priced it right. Don't ignore any offers, even if they seem low. Negotiate by making counter offers. And then comes opening the escrow and ordering of the termite report. In Champaign-Urbana, your attorney will open your escrow for you and your agent will help you with ordering a termite report. And then comes the buyer's appraisal. The buyer's lender will want to schedule an appointment to appraise your home for the buyer's mortgage. This is often coordinated by your own agent to get this set up. And then you must cooperate with a home inspection. So to get ready for the home inspection, you need to prepare the attic and the crawl space and make sure that they are easily accessible for the inspector. Next comes the delivery of the seller disclosures. There are several. Your agent will help you with those. There's the personal property disclosure, lead-based disclosure, radon disclosure, and agent disclosure. And they are given to the buyer prior to them making an off offer on a property. Next comes negotiate requests for repairs. Now you don't have to accept a buyer's request to make repairs, but they may back out of the deal if you don't, as long as they have an inspection contingency in the contract. And in some cases, a buyer <clears throat> may accept a closing cost credit instead of an actual repair. This credit essentially lowers the sales price, giving them uh, their own uh, chance to make the repairs themselves. Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, and after the home inspection, if they request repairs, you are entitled to have a copy of the report. Then there's the releasing of contingencies. In Champaign-Urbana, we have two contingencies, the buyer's financing and the termite inspection. And they all need to be satisfied prior to going to closing table. Then comes the final walkthrough by the buyer. And in the Champaign-Urbana market, buyers may perform a final walkthrough of the property two days prior to closing. Then comes going to escrow, or going to what we call the closing. You'll be asked to sign escrow documents, generally at the closing, unless you take power of attorney and don't attend your own closing. At closing, you will sign the final paperwork and hand over the keys and give possession to the buyer. Now, I hope that you uh, have an understanding of the home selling process now. And if you plan to sell your home anytime this year, 
and needs some assistance, I would be happy to apply for the job of listing and marketing your home. Hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please hit the like button and if you'd like to be notified of future videos, then please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos out every Monday and as always, have a powerful day.